guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to talk about something a little different we're going to talk about how to have the right mindset for playing this points game because just like everything else in life having the right mindset is very important and it could definitely affect the outcome of whatever that you're trying to do think about it like this you look on social media and you see wow these guys are taking an awesome trip they are flying first class business class and they're saving so much money just by using points they redeem a bunch of points and they earn millions of points and you're wondering how come you're not doing it well we can start by having the right mindset and there's three things that you can do to put yourself in that great mindset and i do realize this might be more for beginners but trust me even for experts even for someone like myself who's been in this points game for over a decade will sometimes get i guess tunnel vision and get kind of lost having a bad mindset number one is don't be afraid because being afraid will definitely have a negative impact in life and not just the points game and i want to show you guys this thing so this is a survey that they conducted uh worklife.news and I just want to show you that 35% of the people says that work-related fear actually forced them to quit their jobs. So don't quit the points game just because you're afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Don't be afraid to do your research. Don't be afraid to ask a question. Ask a question down below and I'll answer it. Don't be afraid to ask for an upgrade. A lot of people actually tell me, oh, but Johnny, I don't want to offend the front desk for asking for an upgrade. But you know what? They, as a courtesy, they kind of have to check for you. That's part of their job as front desk. And you can do it nicely. Just be like, hey, I know you're busy. I know that, uh, you know, maybe I'm just a silver member. Or maybe I'm just a gold member. But can you check if uh, there's an upgrade available? If not, that's okay. People are more than happy to help you. I used to work retail and I get asked questions all the time and I don't even think twice about why are they asking. I just want to do my job and answer their question. And don't be afraid to start. I think that's probably one of the biggest one is you kind of don't start and it either fear or anxiety is stopping you from starting something. Always start. And that leads us to number two, be pro active when you see a destination that you or your family might want to go to look it up do the research look up the price for tickets Let's check if there's redemption opportunity maybe you want to subscribe to someone who helps you save a lot of money by redeeming points i don't know right but the key is you have to get the ball rolling first and once you get that going, actually, it will come to you. Um, if you don't have time right away, make a to-do list, write it down, mm, research or check price on this destination. The next time when you come back, you'll be like, oh, that's right. I need to check on that trip that I want to take, or I want to check that trip that I want to take my family to. And one last way to be proactive is go ahead and sign up for that loyalty program, either hotel or you know, frequent flyer program from airlines that you haven't signed up yet, but you want to, uh, because a lot of times you look at social media and be like, oh, that's right. You can uh, transfer points to, let's say, Air France for 30% bonus. Oh, but I don't have Air France, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I can't. But what you're missing is that if you actually already sign up for an account, then you have that positive association. It's like, hey, I have Air France account, Flying Blue account. Then I can transfer from, let's say, Chase for a 30% bonus. So go ahead and sign up for those loyalty program now. And number three is be informed. There's at least hundreds of websites out there with great information on how you can save money by using points, about information on your travel destination. So go read them because at the end of the day, 
the more information you have will lead to a better decision that you make. So it doesn't really hurt if you spend 10 minutes every day reading a blog post or watching a YouTube video that you really like, uh, because at the end of the day, it's really going to help you. And with all that in mind, pun intended, subscribe to the channel to be informed. And if you're already in the correct mindset, great. Watch these two videos coming up to help you do your next redemption. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.